Question three is all about geometry and straight lines. In part A, we are asked to work out the coordinates of A and B, and we're given the equation of line L1, which is 3x plus 4y equals 24. So the way to find out A and B is well, to actually recognise what they are. So A is the x-intercept, and B is the y-intercept. So when you have the equation in this form, the easiest thing is to, to um, recognise that if you're trying to work out the x-intercept, the value of y here is 0. So if you take the formula 3x plus 4y equals 24, when you're trying to find the x-intercept, the y value is 0. So we can cross that out. We've got 3x equals 24. So hopefully you can see that x is going to be 8. And we're asked to give the coordinates, so therefore you need to write that as 8, 0. Similarly, when we're trying to work out the y-intercept, here is our equation, 3x plus 4y equals 24. This time on the y-axis, is the x-axis, the, the value of x, which will be 0. So you'll have 4y is equal to 24, so therefore y is equal to 6. And again, using the coordinates, we need to express that as 0, 6. So there are the coordinates for a and b. In part B, we're asked to write down the coordinates of M. So M is the midpoint here of this line. So we've now got the coordinates of um, A, which we said was 8, 0, and B, which we said was 0, 6. So you can, um, you can probably do this um, in your head, but if you want to use the formula, the formula is you take the average of the x's, so uh, the x coordinates are going to be 8 plus 0, and then divide by 2, and then the average of the y's, so that's going to be 6, uh, six plus 0, divided by 2. So the coordinates of the midpoint, therefore, are going to be 4 and 3. So uh, the next uh, part then, write down the equation of L2. So L2 is this line here. Now, remember the equation for the straight line graph is y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the intercept. So, so um, we're given the information here that point c is 0 minus 2, so this is minus 2, which means the value here uh, in the equation y equals mx plus c is also minus 2. So all we need to do then is find m, which is the gradient. So we've got... Um, the the coordinates of the midpoint, which we said were 4 and 3, and the coordinates here, um, which is going to be 0 minus 2 if we put in the coordinates. So the change in height between 3 and minus 2 is going to be 5, and the change in width between 4 and 0 is going to be 4. We can see it's upward sloping. Therefore, the um, gradient is going to be 5 over 4. So y equals 5 over 4x minus 2. In part D, we're asked to find the length of MC and AC. So MC is this length here. In effect, what we're going to do is use Pythagoras to recognize that this is a right angled triangle. So, um, to work out MC, we need to work out um, the base here. Now, we know the x-coordinate of M is uh, 4, and the x-coordinate of C is 0. So, 4 minus 0 is going to give us the base. So, that squared plus um, the height squared here, which is going to be 3 minus minus 2. So, that's going to be plus 5 um, squared. So that's going to be root 41, which is 6.4. And similarly for AC, which is uh, this length here. So we can make this our right angle triangle. And again, we need to work out the two sides. So the base is going to be the x coordinate here at A minus x coordinate at C. So 8 minus 0 gives us uh, 8 squared. And similarly, the um, y coordinate, so the y coordinate is 0, minus minus 2 is going to give us um, plus 2 uh, squared. And if we do that, that's root 61, which is going to give us 8.25. For the final part in E, we are asked to find the size 
of angle CMA, which is going to be this angle here. So we've already, from the previous question, worked out that uh, this length here is root 41, and this length here is 5, and the length AC is root 68. So you can see we've got three sides. So when we've got three sides and we're asked to find the area, we should be thinking um, cosine rule. Um, however, we need to rearrange it. So this is the um, slightly more complicated version of the formula, um, which is going to be uh, b squared plus c squared uh, minus a squared over 2bc. So uh, if we substitute in the uh, two sides here, so 5 squared and root 41 squared, <laughs> and subtract root 68 squared all over, uh, to be C, we end up with an angle of 91.8 degrees. Now we're going to need that in part two because now if we know that um, this angle here is 91.8, we should see we've got um, side, angle, side, and then we would expect the area of a triangle question, which is what we've got here. So you're going to use the trigonometry formula for the area of a triangle, which is half for AB side C, and that's going to give you half times uh, the angle, the length, sorry, root 41 and 5, times the sine of the angle in between them. And if you do that, that gives you a an area of 16.0, correct, to three significant figures.